Uh, good evening. This morning I was uh, changing a light bulb. Yep, I can do that. Hmm. My dad swore my uncle couldn't, but that's a whole different family matter that has nothing to do with me, does it? Since they're both not on the planet anymore. And that it was one of those new spirally, holy cow, we're going to save you a bunch of energy. And I thought, no, I don't think that this bulb is that old. You know, they say that they don't wear out. and I don't remember changing bulbs a lot, uh, but and I remember changing bulbs to where you had to get the pliers to get them out because the bulbs would be in there so long that, you, that they would seal themselves in the in the socket sometimes. But I looked at this thing. I thought, I don't think this thing is that old. And so I thought, well, let me look at this. Let's look and see. You know, the incandescent bulb is supposed to use, you know, so much more energy. But what about recycling these things? Uh, or, you know, if you throw them away, you know, there's spots here in Switzerland where you can recycle the bulbs. And... So I got looking at the fluorescent bulbs, and and <laughs> what they say is, if you drop one of those bulbs, and you have the air conditioning on or the heating in your house, turn it off. Turn it off and let all the toxins, the mercury, the five milligrams of mercury in the bulb settle. Where is it going to go then? I don't know. I don't know what. You know what I mean? Mercury doesn't dissipate. Mercury is. I mean, mercury is dangerous outside of. Uh, Morons and dentists, the only people who don't know that, seem to be the, the people who make light bulbs. When I saw Philips Electronics, Philips Petroleum, right, advertising these light bulbs, I, I, I'm sorry, I know I'm cynical, I'm old, I'm uh, suspicious, skeptical, cynical, all those things, but I thought, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, these guys aren't concerned about saving energy. They are the petroleum, the dinosaur... Uh, digging up the oil from the ground and not really caring about it, uh, like BP going green. That's uh, that's a screen. But I got when I saw the notice, the placards, the billboards for them, I thought, nah, I don't believe this. I mean, I know that if I take my diesel car and convert it, that I can run it on a renewable fuel, on a vegetable-based fuel or a peanut fuel or coconut fuel, and I can do that with any diesel engine, and I can use renewable fuel for now, I would think, if I know that, the BP knows it. So when they had their ads for their energy-saving light bulbs, I thought, hmm, I don't trust this. Right? And it comes that I'm right. Right? These things have a toxic level of mercury in them. If you want to see the side effects of mercury, mad hatter's disease, people going crazy, cancer, things like that. Like I said, the only people stupid enough to work with mercury are dentists who put it in people's mouths and say, oh, this isn't going to hurt them even though they've known for years that mercury is very toxic. So if you have those bulbs, when you dispose of them, dispose of them carefully. See if there's a place to recycle them. Uh, get some LED bulbs. We're going to go get some incandescent bulbs. We're going to get some, we're going to burn the energy up. Because I think recycling those damn things is a lot worse than bulbs dying or using a lot of energy right now.